Hotshot, Jetfire, Vector Prime, Landmine, Scattershot, Optimus Prime. And I'm Optimus Bulba. Long awaited, I've wanted to do this video for a while since I've started the Transformers channel and I've never really found an appropriate time to do the Fans Project Protector Rodimus Prime upgrade kit. I've never found a time to do it, but I think the last while, after doing some of the third party bots, I think it's the appropriate time to bring this guy in. This was my first third party um, buy. I think I bought him a year after the upgrade kit came out. I remember seeing it advertised, but I waited a year. Then I got, of course, now you can buy um, the upgrade kit in black and with the target master and stuff. I don't have the target master and I don't have it in black. Um, but this to me is the essential Rodimus Prime. I know Hasbro and other third party manufacturers have done better versions now of Rodimus Prime. Um, I think Carry is a good version. But when this came out, it was so loved how they'd done it right. The material is great. The look of it is amazing. And everything, what you see, it does something. And that's the great thing about this. Like, I don't care if you've never seen this one before. It is absolutely fantastic. Of course, they can roll. And as you can see, you've got the Classics Hot Rod in there. I've actually got two versions of them. I've got one that's called you got with Cyclonus, which wouldn't match this one. Then, of course, I've got that one. There is the see-through Hot Rod and then the shinier Hot Rod. And you can get the upgrade kit and match them as well. So, let you see underneath. Do apologise for my allergies. He is kitted out. So there's a Classics Hot Rod. He's got his own version of Roller. And that is it. So let's take out Hot Rod. And all you have to do is this. Unhook those side panels. And there you go. Hot Rod is out. Now, the only thing I had to do was take away his gun. And the reason is when he's underneath his transport, that roller bot kind of just hides, it, hides right in there. And you can't put the gun in to secure it. But... That being said, let's take out the little roller, because it's is, is, is such a unique figure, even though it doesn't transform, but it's it's really cool. It is a cool little thing. And there you go. And if you want, you can also put this on top of it, if you want. But it does look fascinating, and I prefer the flame there, that's his missile you get for his gun. But I prefer it there. So, classic hot rod transformation into this. But we'll do the proper transformation of classic hot rod. Um, Favourite character. So, let's give everything he's got. Split here and then just move that up. Turn around. Spoiler. Spoiler's ready. Okay. Come to the legs. Break these parts off. Fold those bits down. And all you're doing is unhooking. Unhook. And there we go. Straighten out the legs. And you can fold around the feet. Come to the arms. Stretch. Fold in this part of the body. Now we can bring out his hand, same again, bring it down, that's that part out, and then we're back to this bit, and then all we've got to do is 
twice. And there we go. Classic hot rod. I mean, at least this one, they try to implement the black legs. Uh, they keep it to a nice red colour. He's not got that pinkish look um, that a lot of the bots had, especially the cartoon and, like, the orange. They try to keep it as, like, quite neutral to the red and yellow look he had. I just need to get that leg just to sit just a tiny bit better for me. And I'll be happy. What's that leg? <laughs> so, put him like that just now. Let him stand. So that was basically it. So, that's the way he looked. You had his cannon, which fit in his hand, and that flame in the back of that little roller was a missile. So how does the upgrade kit work? Well, first off, we have to get Hot Rod into the mode he's going to be. So if we bring Hot Rod back... Okay, and what we're doing is closing the hands, and what I do is close that, so it looks like that, same again, close so it looks like that, so you've got the spoilers, you've got everything ready to go, the feet, just put the legs back round. that's it. Hot Rod is ready to get the upgrade kit. So let's take him away. We're going to take away this roller. Now, everything, like I said, is in this kit. This whole section has the, the body it has to go on him. And it's so unique how it does it. So if you're looking to extend his spoiler, come underneath. Open this. And just slide off these parts. We'll put this bit back on. Open this up and it will reveal obviously the turret like the G1 version but most importantly the chest. Take that off. Then we've got the hands that are just tabbed in and they just come off as well. Same again. Let's get this one untabbed. They are so, <laughs> so tight in, but the material's that good, it holds perfectly. And now you've got the turret, but now you want the feet. So what we want to do is come back here to this part and just start unhooking certain tabs. And that will release the feet. So there we go, we've got it coming. Actually might be easier if I do that and bring down that part. And that means that they can come off easier as well. So let's just take off the feet. With everything taken off for the body, now come to this bit and just take off the turret. And if I leave this like that, put it at the back, there you go. So everything's got a function which can be used for hot rod. Taking the gun, we can now add on this part from the cannon which can extend the gun. And if I can get my nail in. There we go. But if I remember, it's actually a set like that. <laughs> so there you go. That is his new rifle ready. Come to the feet. And all you're doing, which is so unique, you're flipping these bits around and closing in on themselves. So I'll show you this part. As soon as we go up, there we go. They come round, close up, come to the back. The foot is ready. 
do the same again. So unhook gap butt, turn round, come to the back, foot comes up, and that's it. Just locks that it just locks into place. That's his feet ready. Arms the exact same. Come to the hands, flip that down and move up. Twist this part round and there you go. The arms are ready for him now. Do it again. Come to this side because this bit's easier. Just try to find a bit to twist. There we go. And there we have it. And finish off, here is the chest. You slide this bit out and there is Protector's head. So with all these parts, how do they fit onto Hot Rod? Well, let's start with the arms, if we get them in. And what you want to do is, it's got to be hooked in a way it goes under the wheel and above the wheel. Do it for the next one. <clears throat> so see there's a little clip. So it goes under the wheel. And then it locks on. So that's him starting to take shape. We can come to the spoiler. Add on the spoiler extensions. Come to the chest. And that just pops on over like so as soon as I get a line up there we go let's put the head on feet just line up just let them click into place And to finish him off, we will give him his rifle. And there you have it, folks. There is Fans Project Protector, other known as Rodimus Prime. And it is still possibly my favourite, favourite version of Hot Rod. Again, I don't have the stickers, but the stickers are coming, like I've said on the videos. So he's going to get stickered up with the Autobot symbols. But the, the the actual kit is still incredible 10 years later. Um, there's not much you can fault the kit with. And it just makes... <laughs> What's the best way I'm looking to say this? It just makes everything that the time Hasbro was doing not that great. I mean, they done one for Classic Ultra Magnus and Classic Prime. And that was incredible. And Fans Project was killing it at the time. And with this, they absolutely nailed it for Rodimus to give him this unique look. And the colours were on point. How it equips to the character. Um, when, of course, the character was never designed for this. is incredible. The, the people that worked on this are still legends um they're still legends to this day and by far my favorite third party upgrade kit and i just love the way it looks so that would be the end just now third party bots uh, if i get any more of course i'll bring them back but i'm going to go back to energon reviews i've still got quite a lot of them um to catch up on uh i don't think I will have any third party for the next while, but I have got some I'm looking at um, into getting and looking to upgrade the review area as well and get rid of this box. I've got an idea I want to try and uh, it's going to cost me, but if it works, it works. It'll probably look good as well. But there you go, guys. Fans, Project Protector, Rodimus Prime Upgrade Kit. See you next time, Transformers fans. <coughs> Thank you everyone for tuning into the video today. Remember, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and that notification bell so you know that a new Optimus Wilbur review goes live.
Also, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Up Too Small for Reviews, Twitter at Rodimus8, and Twitch at Optimus Bulbert85. Just hit that in the search engine at the top. Also, if you wish to become a Patreon or buy from the merch store, look in the description box below. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Cybertronics 3 for allowing me to use their music, Cybertronic Warrior, as a theme for the channel. Please check them out on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook and give them the support they deserve. This band is fantastic and do an amazing job, so please send your support to them. And remember Transformer fans, till all are one.